taking a look at the evolution of the iPad. iPad has been around for just five years. Where has it been? Where is it going now? Well, in April of 2015, we celebrated the fifth anniversary of the iPad. They were pretty heavy and they were a little bulky and they only had one camera. Tablets weren't new, but it was Apple that made the device appealing. Some thought to question, is it just a bigger iPod? It may have been true, but it's also a pretty good idea. We have the tablet, we can use iMessage to text our friends, even if we don't have um, phone capabilities. In March 2nd, 2011, the iPad 2 came out. The iPad 2's key change was a much nicer design and one that would stick with the iPad for its next two generations. It also had uh, front and rear cameras, making tablet photography of a thing. I'm sure every one of you has been to a concert and seen nothing but iPads up in the air. And these, these are the devices that our students are using every day. Day one sold 500,000 iPad 2s. Just one year later, Retina Display came out and 3 million were sold the first weekend. iPad Mini was announced and the fourth generation iPad announced just one half of a year later. Do you want the iPad Mini or a bigger iPad? The Mini is not a cheaper version of iPad, it's just smaller. Sometimes when we think it's smaller, it's lesser. In this case, it's not true. November 12th, the iPad Mini with Retina Display went on sale. The price? It's not cheap. It went from $329 to $399 for the Retina Display. But the thing is, people are buying iPads. People are buying iPhones. This is what is selling in America. There are millions of apps available for both the Android and the Apple tablets. Some communicate across both platforms, while others do not. Technology will always be evolving itself and our classrooms. As teachers, we need to be prepared for whatever new technological advances are made, because our students will be. Finally, January 27th, 2015, 250 million total iPads have been sold. It's true that the sales are declining. The iPad was supposed to replace the way computing is done. It hasn't quite happened yet, but Apple may be the one to blame. Apple has created the phablet. Have you seen the size of the new iPhone 6S? Why buy a tablet if your phone is almost as big as the mini? And because of the, of the iOS updates, people don't always have to buy a new iPad to use the current technology. It's not the same with Kindle's Android Windows programs. iPad. Revolutions are characterized by sudden, often violent change that would have been difficult to predict in advance. There is a revolution going on, and it's the revolution of technology, and it is definitely difficult to predict in advance.